welcome to Mediumship by Picasso. My name is Picasso Roberts. Uh, welcome to my YouTube channel and I uh, just want to say thanks for stopping by. If you haven't yet hit the subscribe button, please smack that button, would you? Uh, it'll help me stick around a little bit longer and help me do the things that I want to do here. This week is going to be spirit messages and um, the card pull for August 29th through September 4th. And yep, we're already in September. Um, I don't know, it goes really, really fast. I'm not sure about you guys, but it's been a flipped up couple of days. I made it through, you made it through, and it's time to get to the other side of things. So um, I actually sat through, put myself through an Aroma Freedom Technique session today just to t help kind of take the trash out. Um, I'll probably do a talk on this uh, at some point and or a demonstration so you can kind of see what that Aroma Freedom Technique is. But it, it, what it is, it's basically getting that negative thought uh, out of your head about that thing that you're trying to do. For me, I'm trying to grow my business and I come from a long line of not motivated people. Uh, they didn't do business. They didn't do, you know, things like this. It doesn't feel new to me. It feels like I've been doing things like this for eons. But I find myself struggling from where I came from. So every now and then I'll go through a session um, taking out the trash trying to get rid of that negative thought and that's really you know what the whole issue is for a lot of us right now is is because things we struggle with things um it's difficult or difficult times prices are high at the grocery prices are high at the, uh, the gas tank people are having trouble getting jobs keeping jobs um, getting paid enough to survive at the jobs that they do have so they don't have to go out and do two and three jobs. Um, you know, it's it's what's happening right now. So it, it's a bit of a struggle. Um, it's it's fucked up. It's just really, it, it is. It's, that's just, there's no other way to put it. We can get through it. So if we stick together and take care of each other and lift each other up, I, I know that we can get through it. The message this week um, is, I'm sorry, I was probably heading one direction, but I want to go to the message. I want to go to the spirit message that they gave me this morning. And then we'll do the card pull. I'll share a couple things with you, but let me get this message out of the way. Are you ready? The hill is steep to climb. You get weak, out of breath, and desperate. When this happens, stop. Wait, regroup. Your thoughts are backing up on you. Too many thoughts of desperation. It's understandable, but stop. Center yourself. Cry if you must, let off the steam, and then let go of the fear and the anger that you have about your situation. You're right. You don't fit in. You're all different in a good way. Be different. Be you. Celebrate you. And the one thing to remember is that when things are uncomfortable is that everything changes. It's our constant. So when you're on the edge of not wanting to go on, take a moment. It will pass. Wait and then start again until you finally feel lighter and the weight lifting off your shoulders helps you to breathe just a little bit easier. So that's what kind of couple of days I had. And I know I'm pretty sure last week's message was similar to this um, about getting that negative thought out of your head. And it's really hard, you know, cause when you're in a struggle, all you hear, for me anyway, all I hear is, you know, it'll never work. Stop. You can't. There's nobody's listening. You're, they're going to turn you away. It's this, it's that. And all of that is actually heavy in itself. So it's really important to try and let that go. It's not easy. 
it's not easy. So don't beat yourself up if it if you feel like you're frustrated and it stinks and it's not easy. Just take a moment. The world can wait. The world can wait a minute. Just stop and regroup. <sighs> Center yourself. Just go back to you. Have a cry. I had almost two days of it. Um, but I'm glad that I did because I got it out of the way. And ultimately what it was about was the negative thought getting in the way. And when I was trying to do what I wanted to do, you know, I, I got... I got bunk, you know, I got really bad, uh, <laughs> really bad reception. And it's because I'm different and I, I'm bringing something different to the table. Um, it, I don't, I, I don't fit in. And if you're listening to me, you probably don't fit in either. But we do in our own way, in our own sort of weird kind of, I don't know, ethereal way. We have we have our connections to each other. So we fit in in that way. We just don't fit in in what the quote unquote norm is because really there is no norm. There is no normal. Um, so gosh, hang in there, guys. You know, if I can do it, you can do it. Um, you know, it freaking sucked, but I got through it and you can get through it too. Share with your friends and, um, you know, reach out to people and say, Hey, how are you guys doing today? Or, Hey, you know, I could sure use somebody to cry in my beer with, or, you know, could you just let me vent for a second or let me tell you what happened to me today? I'm a real m movie person. So when I get quiet like that and I regroup, I need to well, I need to see something good. <laughs> I need to see something uplifting. And it's kind of weird. Yesterday, I, I ended up watching that, um, The Secret, the movie. They actually did a movie and it was, it was really good. Um, Katie Holmes and Josh Lucas, I think, were, the, the, were starring in that. A little cheesy, but you know what? Cheesy is good when things are, are complicated. So, so that helped to uplift and that was good. But one of the things I wanna to bring to your attention this week before I get into the cards is Doreen Virtue did this. I'm sure other people have done this, uh, angel numbers. So numbers are really, really important. Um, and whether I'm going through something yucky or you know, something really, really great. I pay attention to re repeat numbers, repetitive numbers, 444, 1111, um, 111. And I specifically pay attention to, if I'm woken up in the middle of the night, immediately I look at the clock. Last night, it was 215. And so I'm gonna share with you what 215 was. And so you can kind of get the gist of, so my little book is beat up, but, you can kind of get the gist of what this does. It's just another tool, another way to um, to create uh, support and hope and um, positivity. All right. So the pages will look similar to this. And for 215, remember how powerful your thoughts are and keep them positive. Have faith this that this change you're experiencing is manifesting your dreams and purpose. Boy, did I need to hear that. I'm gonna read that again. Because of all the stuff that I just was just talking about, about the negative thoughts and all of that, spirit will help us if we just listen. So they woke me up at 2.15 and here's the message from the numbers book. Remember how powerful your thoughts are and keep them positive have faith that this change you're experiencing is manifesting your dreams and purpose. I have dreams. So I I died. I had a near-death experience back in 1994. And it took me a few years to figure out what exactly happened. But I learned eventually. Cabeza dura. Hard-headed. Um, I learned I'm here for a reason. You're my reason. Spirit's my reason. Um, Jack's my reason my cat uh, there have a purpose and 
you know, God didn't take me out for no reason at all and then pluck me back in. I mean, I could have just happily gone on my way and that would have been great. But I'm here to help. I'm here to be of service. I'm here to give back. And that's why I'm here. So I try to make sure that what I'm doing is helpful and is of service, not just to to you guys, but to spirit too. I want you to remember that when, I'm not sure why it's making me emotional, but it it is because it's something I care deeply about. When you're getting a mediumship reading, a message from spirit, that that message is for you and that's great, but it's also helping them. So they're trying to to reach you and have accountability and be supportive and be encouraging. So Spirit appreciates the opportunities that people like me and my colleagues give so that they have a voice. So that's ultimately the most important thing. So the hill is steep. It's steep because there's such a mindset about... um, this kind of work and it's getting better people are waking up and that's great i think it's a good message it's about cleaning up the trash that's in your head um it's about getting that the garbage out those negative thoughts and feelings that um hit you when you're trying to do things you know in your earlier years there's there are moments when you know somebody said to you as a as a kid you're not good enough or you can't do that you're a girl. What do you what do you think you're doing? You're not smart enough to do that. Screw you. I'm smart enough. I'm enough. And I'm here to do what I need to do. So all I got to say is I'm going to keep on trying. And I'm going to keep on until until that moment when those doors open and it's okay. It'll be good. It is good. It's good now. So, you know, look. I've done a lot in my life for being a short little shit. Let me just tell you. I've survived some things that you cannot even imagine. Um, But the beans are out there. They're in my book. So if you ever want to read my story... (laughs) I wrote a book. It's you can get it on my website or Amazon or I think Barnes and Noble, um, and it is called uh, "Walking the Way," and it's my story of strength, courage, and my introduction to spirit. So, yeah, I ain't dead yet. So I'm gonna do a poll. This is for August 29th through September 4th. Uh, this is from my deck. I'm no angel, but I'm trying. Let's see. Okay. So this is a good one. Stick your toes in the sand or your ass in the grass. Connect with nature. And I have not been outside today because I've been doing stuff. Um, Cleaning up the inside, you know. Um, but yeah, it's it's about time to go and, and put my toes in the sand. They're saying, Spirit's like, you have been in way too long. Go outside. It's stinking hot outside. Go outside anyway. But there's bugs. Go outside anyway. They're, they're, <laughs> I live in Florida, so there's it's hot, stinking hot, sweaty, and bugs. Um, but I need to go outside anyway. So... There are parts of nature. It's the sounds. It's the birds. Um, it's the sound of the ocean or the river or whatever that even the, the leaves going through the trees. Rather than having that Zen thing on the TV that, that gives you that, go out in it. Be in it. Take a moment. Take a moment and enjoy that feeling of the breeze on your face. Um, it's a good thing. 
So I'll do that myself and I challenge you to do the same thing. You know, step away from your computer screen for a minute, step away from the TV screen for a minute. Um, even if you're hunkered down because you're in the cave, go outside for just a moment at least. Put your hand on a tree or a plant or smell a flower or just listen to the sounds outside that will help help you connect, help you regroup. You know, it's really important. So we're going to, um, yeah, we'll leave that one for now. We're just going to do one from my deck and then we'll see what we need from uh, Doreen's deck. So this is um, the Angel Therapy Oracle card deck. Spirit will you know, bring the card up that we most need to hear, um, which is really, it's really a beautiful thing. It's the same like with the numbers that I showed you. Um, there, it's, it's kind of their way of going, hey, knucklehead, listen. <laughs> they don't really say knucklehead. Well, they might. Uh, all right, do we need another one? Let's do one more from her deck. Just one more, thank you. I like these. Okay, so the first one they gave is Goddess. This is about divine feminine energy. This is about power and your divine feminine energy. Um, on the card it says, express your divine feminine energy, embracing its magical intuition and nurturing qualities. There's one thing that when spirit brings me this, there's one thing that I, I feel about not just being a woman, but about being in the energy of other women. We are so strong and so powerful in who we are as beings, you know, doing what we're doing. And we've been squelched for so long and shut up and shut down for so long that I'm glad this card came up today. I'm glad, goddess. It's time not to be quiet. It's time to take your power back. It's time to be good to your women friends, be kind to your mother. My mother came in today, um, but be kind to your mother, be kind to your grandmother, be kind. If you can't be kind, be quiet and just send love. Uh, what I really feel with this is also about sharing your light. Um, so when I ask what else with this, they're showing me like color obelisk like thing and women around it sending energy to this this item, just a focusing energy on that divine energy on that one thing for healing. It's really cool. And you know, they say that we have uh, masculine and feminine. So if you are a man and um, saying, you know, ah, that card's not for me, it is for you. It's for you because you have a side of you that has some of that feminine. Um, even if you're a big old trucker dude, you still have a little bit of that, that sensitive side, that um, goddess side. Plug into that. But honor the women around you. Please take time and honor the women around you. It matters. We're not meant to be shut up and closed up anymore. That, that shit is done, played out, let me just say. All right, and then the second one is integrity integrity um, align your actions so that they match your values and inner knowingness of what's right for you yeah don't stay in situations that aren't right for you don't stay in situations that create regret and frustration and anger and you know get out make the change uh, it's okay to make the change it takes courage uh, to make the change, and it's not easy. I mean, I personally can attest to setting a boundary and, and 
holding my idea of what ethics and integrity I have for myself in my practice, in what was my massage practice, but is in my mediumship practice also. They're saying be, not just the be honest part, that's important, yes, but put thought behind your words. Don't just spew out verbal vomit, you know? Put thought behind your words. Make sure that whatever you're doing is coming from a good place. And if you're speaking to people or around people uh, or or in a, a position of authority, please act with integrity. Put thought behind the words. Okay, so I'm going to challenge you guys for the week. This is a, a week of, you know, taking a breath, taking a, a break, taking a moment if you need it so that you can kind of regroup and and put the kibosh on those negative thoughts. Um, you have to do things that will help change the energy about what's going on with you. If you're getting, a, if you got a case of the I can't, you know, it's never, it's not going to happen. It's not possible. S- stop, stop it. And it is possible. Just change your thought pattern um, and wait. It, it may not come at the speed in which you want it to, which is my problem. I want it to come like this. I want my things that I have an idea of what I want. And, you know, the universe has a whole different idea, but I'm doing the best I can. So my challenge for you is to change that thought pattern, is to take a moment um, if you're having trouble and go inside. Go inside and nurture yourself a little bit. And know that it's okay not to be um, like everybody else. Just be you. Just be you. So we got get your butt outside. Stick your toes in the sand or your ass in the grass. Go out and connect with nature. We got goddess. And we got integrity. Dun, dun, dun. One of the hardest things in the world to do is trust, especially if you've been through some stuff. But I'm going to say, try, just try to trust that things are going to be okay and try to get yourself in a, um, in a, in a better thought pattern. You know, change that thought pattern. Do whatever it do- it takes. If if it's inhaling an essential oil or um, watching a funny movie or you know, hanging out with friends or you know cracking jokes or whatever it is, change that thought pattern. So I'd like to say thank you for stopping by. Thank you for listening to the message. Uh, I hope it helps you in some way, uh, shape or form. I've got something uh, very exciting coming up. Uh, Hopefully, it'll be starting this week. I've got some great interviews lined up, and I'm going to be putting these on this channel. It's very exciting. These are people that you'll see out and about in in the business that I'm in, and they're colleagues and um, my peers and I love them and I love that they've taken the time uh, to sit with me on a zoom call and answer some questions and just get into the meat and potatoes of what's going on around the world and what's happening with them and you know it's nice it's going to be really really fun so you're not going to want to miss these interviews please don't miss the card pulls either they're coming from a good place and uh just hang in there. Remember that you can book me for a private reading um, at at my website. Just go onto my website, mediumshipbypicasso.com. You could catch me on Facebook, um, Mediumship by Picasso, and or here on this YouTube channel. So Mediumship by Picasso. That's me. Have a great week. Behave. Don't get in trouble. I don't have bail money. Peace.